Hey folks, how's it going today? Me and Ron out. We're doing some uh, bushcraft stuff. We just uh, stopped. Uh, this is for one of the challenges that's on the internet. We found some uh, blackberries and Ron's going to pick some and we're going to make some uh, some blackberry coffee. <laughs> so I'm going to get a cup out of my bag. You hear me? Oh yeah, it's all kinds. Enough to get an add-on for our lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. I didn't think there's just many here. Yeah man, there's all kinds of them here. We found something else too. Some yummy apples. We're gonna get some of them too. Get up there. See them are rose hips are on. Right here. Yeah. These here? Yeah. Right on, man. Here. Trying not to break the apple tree, eh? Yeah, that's a good idea. And avoid it. Them are really nice looking apples. Here so. Yeah man, I bet you they're gonna be tasty. Well here we are folks. Doing a little bit of bushcraft out here. We got here by the bay, Bay of Funday, Nova Scotia, Canada. It's a really nice view. A lot of farmland around here. Tides out right now, so you get to see all the mud flats and stuff. We're biking a thing called the Cobbacuid Trail, so we're gonna do some bushcraft and have our lunch or breakfast, I guess. I guess brunch, lunch, breakfast, whatever it is. We got the alcohol stoves out, and again, this is for Buddy's challenge there. Well, uh, I've been doing so many of these challenges lately, I can't remember this guy's name for the life of me whose challenge this is. I think it's, I think it's Sircots, but I can't, I can't say for sure. We're biking a thing called the Cobbacuid Trail. Uh, it's a very nice trail system. You can walk, bike, hike on it. Uh, it stretches for miles down here. It's an absolutely uh, beautiful trail system. And they got periodically, they have little shelters that you can, uh, you can stop at. They got garbage and recycling places and stuff, so it's all cool. So we're gonna get set up here and uh, get the alcohol stoves fired up. This is my cousin Ron. He doesn't go out and do a lot of bushcraft. He's my uh, my partner for this challenge, so he's got all kinds of stuff there. He's got eggs and bagels, and he's got oatmeal, and he's got all the gear, right? All the gear. <laughs> a huge backpack he had. He likes to uh, he likes to eat well. I just got my small little backpack and some Mr noodles and I'm gonna make some uh, cowboy coffee here right now so I'll get to it and we'll be back how's it going folks we only got one stove so uh, that's the fuel there Rob that's the fuel there. yeah here you come and fill up the stove Grab the fuel. I'm gonna put the coffee in. You gonna show me how you do dirt coffee on this? Thing. All you do, man, is this. You just pour it in. Two cup cup. You fill her up and get her fired up. Oh, that's plenty. Yeah. Get her fired up. Yeah. There it is. Very nice. This is a little trick I use with my alcohol stoves. Uh, a lot of times when you can't when you can't see the flame in the daytime, you take and put a pinch of salt in the stove. 
I put a couple in. It doesn't hurt or bother the so stove, but it lets you so that you can actually see the flames once the salt starts burning there. Just fill that up about three quarters of the way. No, a little bit more. I'll set it right there. That's good. We got some fresh, fresh picked blackberries which would be pretty tasty I would think. We got some apples also too that we picked off of the trail. The coffee smells some good. What kind of coffee yeah. is that? What's the name? Uh, it's French vanilla I do believe. Gee, smells real good man. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Hortons oh dear. <laughs> Better than Tim Hortons. Really nice apples. Oh, they smell really good too. That's right you're probably hitting than this. <laughs> oh yeah. Very tasty. I'll have one. I'll have one after I eat in my bagel. Pinch of salt on it. I like to have some, what do you call it? I like to have some bagel with my butter. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Sonny's <laughs> having a bushcraft bagel over there. My bushcraft spoon I made the other day. What happens once it boils, cowboy coffee once it boils, and you take it off the heat, all the grinds will settle settle right to the bottom of the settle right to the bottom, and then you just pour it off. Let's play around. That's the boil. Enough for me anyway. Check this out, guys. This here is a clock <laughs> radio made by Radio Shack. Realistic. This thing is an AM FN. It's got a clock on it. You tell me that's not old when your clock is a quartz, you know, hand freaking clock on your mobile radio. This thing is like out of the 1950s. Uh, my cousin Ron picked it up. The, where it was, it was sitting outside for so long that when he picked it up, he poured water right out of the radio. He brought it home and, uh, and let it dry out for how long? About a month. About a month and put batteries in it, man, and it works like a charm, eh? <laughs> but it is like an ancient radio. Like, well, you think now, everything nowadays, like, well, this is my radio, right? This is shortwave one and two, made by Grundig. Like, look at the difference in size <laughs> between this thing and that thing. Like, and it's like this thing weighs grams. That thing is like so heavy. My clock. Like this thing's got to weigh a pound, something like that. I don't I never weighed it, but it's a crazy little radio, eh? It's even got an alarm clock rate right on it that you can set on the back. It works too. And it works. Yeah. Got a band switch there. Takes four double A batteries. Turn on here, huh? Works and sounds great though. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna have some Mr. Noodles. And oh looky here. Really good. Give me your spoon. <laughs> Yummy. Ronnie's cooking some eggs on the old alcohol stove. Eggs are cooking. Yes, they are cooking. Looking yummy. That's some good looking eggs. Ronnie's cooking. Yummy breakfast. Here doing urban bushcraft. Some good stuff. 